Tomb Raid. The Space Marines are attempting to capture an artifact from the heart of a Necron tomb. The Space Marines must steal the objective by getting as many units as possible into base contact with it, and then getting those units off of the table. Space Marine organization for this mission. Compulsory. One HQ and one Elites. You can have one additional HQ and two more Elites. Five troops, three fast attack and one heavy support. The Necrons organization. Compulsory. Two troops. You can have four more troops, one HQ, one Elite and one fast attack. You can also have two heavy support. Space Marine Overview. You have launched a daring raid into an area surrounded by mysterious ancient artifacts in search of its fabled secrets. As your force nears its objective, previously unknown guardians awake. Necron Overview The Necron Tire have lain dormant within their stasis chambers for longer than most races have existed. Now, one of those races seek to invade their tomb, and its Necron Guardians rise once more. Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, right, a very, very special video for you today. This is my 1500th upload and uh, to celebrate it we're going to have a 1500 point special mission. So we're going to play the Necron Tomb Raid mission from the very old Necron Codex. Um, playing against my son's Space Marines. Uh, so the objective is right in the middle there, that's that little obelisk. Uh, that's what my son has to try to get onto. Once he picks up something, he's going to pick up that little thing on the top there. Um, currently deployed, the Space Marines over there, he could choose any short table edge, um, and he's deployed up there. So it was 18 inches uh, deployment for uh, infantry and then bikes uh, jump packs and vehicles were 12 inches up so he's deployed a big squad of scouts which I'm going to be able to do a scout move in a minute uh, we've got six shooting terminators we've got a dreadnought a vindicator in there's nine stern guard uh, we then have some jump uh, marines a big squad of bikes and in here we've got two squads of ten marines in rhinos my army is up over there totally in reserve. I have to roll to see which board edge we come through and we're going to use the old 4th edition reserves. So it'll be a 4 plus on turn 2, a 3 plus on turn 3 and a 2 plus on turn 4. Um, there's no choice who goes first, the Space Marines do go first so they'll be taking their turn 1 in a minute. I'm just going to quickly run over my army list for you. Uh, so I've got uh, 5 squads of 10 warriors I've got one squad of nine immortals. I then have uh, six uh, wraiths with particle, one particle caster and everyone else has got whip coils. I then have uh, ten Praetorians, trying out Praetorians for the very first time. Uh, then I have a group of three uh, heavy destroyers. Okay, so um, that's it. We're going to move on now to turn one for the Space Marines and uh, let's uh, get some action. Okay, so turn one for the Space Marines. Um, the, first of all, they did their scout move six inches and then they moved everything up as much as possible. The scouts moved off of the terrain six inches um, and then they ran. Uh, the scouts actually ran six inches as well. The bikes turbo boosted, the terminators moved two inches, um, but they're basically uh, on their way, well on their way to the objective. Um, and they feel obviously quite comfortable at the moment because there's there's no Necrons anywhere, but there will be soon. But first of all, there's going to be turn two. Now, in terms of victory points, we are going to be playing standard victory points from 4th edition. So that's, uh, you get basically the full amount of points that the unit's worth if you um, wipe them out. Um, and then if you get the unit below 50%, you get half the amount of victory points. And the Space Marines do have the uh, facility to get extra bonus victory points. If they manage to get the objective, that little token, off of their board edge, they earn 300 victory points. If they're managing to hold that objective at the end of the game, they get 150 victory points. There's no bonus points for the Necrons, um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a very, very interesting game this. Right, let's move straight on to turn two and uh, see if they can pick up the objective before the Necrons arrive. More to come. 
Okay, so turn two for the Space Marines. Um, they moved and ran. They managed to get the biker squad in base contact there. One bike did die from a dangerous train check. They also managed to get the scouts um, in base contact as well. Um, and the jump pack guys who moved and ran onto the objective. So three units holding that uh, objective there. Uh, but, we've just read the rules, they have to wait a whole turn of being on that objective before they can roll. Uh, they need to roll a 5 and a 6 before they can pick up the objective. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Right, in the meantime, it's time for some Necron Reserves. So I've colour coded the dice, we're going to roll them now. So we've got 5 units of Warriors. And these are coming out on a 4, so 3 units come out. We then have some Praetorians. They're not out. Uh, some Wraiths, they're not out. Heavy Destroyers, they are out. And Immortals, the Immortals are out. Right, okay, here come the Reserves. Okay, so I just rolled for my random Reserve uh, table edges. Uh, the way the mission is, it uh, was a 1 over there, 2, 3 over there, 4 here a five and a six on this table edge. I rolled four fives um, and a two. So I've got one squad of warriors just up over there. Um, and then I've deployed two squads of warriors and a squad of immortals there. And right over here we've got the heavy destroyers. Okay, we're gonna move in now to my shooting phase. Okay, so end of the Necron shooting phase. Started off really well with some uh, Edict Beer luck. Um, shot those warriors at um, the Vindicator, the bane of my life in most games. Um, so I sh shot it rapid fired. I managed to get two hole points off, but one of the dice fed on the floor. Um, picked it up, threw it, and guess what? I got a six. So I managed to wreck it. Um, very, very useful. Over this side of the table, I took out the first uh, razor back there with my heavy destroyers. I then basically rapid fired the warriors, immortals and more warriors into that unit. Managed to kill six of the guys that got out. Uh, they didn't uh, uh, fail any tests, any pinning checks or 25% checks, so everything is good there. As we move in to the Space Marines, turn three. Right, okay, so Space Marines turn three, just come to the end of it. Uh, these guys here moved forward, rapid fired my immortals, so I lost two immortals. Um, I lost um, a warrior from this unit and a warrior from that unit from some shooting bolt of fire from the uh, the rhinos over there. The ironclad dread shot in at those uh, warriors. I lost one of those, um, and I lost another one from those shooting terminators into that unit. So I took a few casualties. Uh, the units which are in base contact with the objective there aren't able to shoot or assault or anything, um, but they are now um, able to see if they can pick up the objective. So we're going to roll a dice one at a time. Um, on a five and a six, they pick the objective up. Okay, so here we go. Scout. Scouts. Scouts. No. no. Um, the assault squad. Assault squad. No. no. And then the bikes. The bikes. No, not this time. Okay, so uh, no objective taken. As we move in to turn three and more reserves, which I'm going to roll in a second for you on the camera. Okay, so we're going to do the reserves. So I have two units of warriors and a three plus this time, both out. We then have the Praetorians, uh, they're out, and lastly the Wraiths, they're out as well. Okay, we're going to find out what side of the table edge they come from. Okay, so I've just rolled table edges. We've got two squads of warriors up over on that table edge. We have the wraiths over on this table edge. And my poor Praetorians, first time out, rolled that table edge there. Yes, that's my daughter watching the game. Um, and yeah, that's bad news for them because even with their 12 inch movement, they're gonna be well out of range of this game. Um, I seem to remember that happening to me before when I used my uh, pariahs um, that happened to them and they've got no action in the whole game. Oh well there you go right we're going to swiftly move on now then to uh, turn three for the Necrons. Okay so the end of turn three for the Necrons. 
So I brought the two squads of warriors on. Uh, that squad there just moved and ran six inches, a bit of a backup I think there. Um, and then over here I brought uh, the other squad on there. Uh, this squad here shot at the Terminators and three ones were rolled. So I managed to call three Terminators, just two left. I couldn't target the other because of um, that piece of terrain. So these guys here shot at the Ironclad Dread. I uh, got one hole point through but he saved its uh, cover save so he was all hunky-dory. Over here I brought the wraiths on here in a position so I could shoot the uh, particle caster, just one of them, at that rhino. I managed to uh, get a hole point off, pretty useful. I then had to work on these guys, there were four guys left. I shot in the warriors that were there, killed three of them. Um, I ended up having to shoot the other warrior squad, a bit of an overkill but at least I got full victory points. So I killed that guy. Um, I used the, the Immortals to shoot at the bikes, he did save everything, but previously to that I had already shot my Heavy Destroyers at the bikes and I managed to kill two. Uh, they did jink, so that was quite useful as well. The Praetorians uh, moved 12 inches on and they ran 2 inches, heading towards the action. And that is it. As we move in to turn uh, 4 for the Space Marines. Okay, so Space Marines turn four. Um, now, if you had a look at the book, it doesn't specifically say when you've got to roll to see if you pick up the objective. It just says that after you spend a game turn um, in contact, which the Space Marines have. So we're going to roll straight off right at the beginning of the turn. So here we go. Let's see if they can pick up the objective. Scouts. Scouts. Yes, yes. the Scouts do pick it up. Okay, more to come. Okay, so turn four for the Space Marines and uh, the Scouts picked the objective up, which means that the army is now able to head way towards their table edge and actually move off of the table edge, which will help them for units which um, are under 50%, try and deny some victory points. So basically everything's made headway towards the line, except for the jump guys, the assault marines, who decided to go into my wraiths, try and uh, hold them up a bit. Uh, they assaulted me, I managed to kill three in the assault, I took one wound back and we just uh, stayed locked in combat there. Um, that was pretty much it because uh, everything basically was moving and running towards the table edge there. Uh, scouts right at the back holding the objective. As we move in to turn four for the Necrons. Okay, so my turn four. Moved the Praetorians up 12 inches and then ran them one inch. Yes. Uh, moved the, the heavy destroyers up there. Um, over here I moved the immortals and the warriors forward as best as possible along with those warriors there. Those warriors shot at the rhino. Uh, managed to get two hole points but a cover save was made. So the rhino is just down to one hole point and that's possibly going to be off the table in a minute I would imagine. Um, the Immortals managed to sneak round the corner there and I managed to kill two of the three bikes that were left. That's very very useful, gave me uh, some victory points of being half strength. These guys shot at the scouts that were just there, I did nothing. However, these guys who moved forward shot at the scouts and managed to kill, I think it was two scouts, went down, uh, dropped the objective. And then those warriors, you couldn't shoot anything, they just moved off of the train and up onto that piece of uh, wreckage there. Over here I moved the ten warriors up, uh, rapid fired that dread, thought I'd be able to take him down. Um, as it was, I only took one hole point off, so not that successful. Um, and then that was pretty much it, the only other thing that happened was I managed to take one hole point off of that rhino. Uh, from the heavy destroyers who then moved slightly forward just trying to get into range because that was all they could shoot apart from the scouts but they were out of uh, line of sight. Okay so that is it we're now going to move into turn five for the space marines this is a slightly different mission in terms of length of game so we're going to go to six turns um, and then we're going to randomly roll to see if there's going to be any more turns so it's potentially going to be eight turns on this game. We'll see. More to come. Okay, so end of the movement phase for turn five for the Space Marines. And uh, they are now on the attack. So they realise that they need to try and get some victory points uh, before moving off of the edge of the table. 
Um, so the scouts have come up here and they've just picked up the objective once again. It's 150 points if they're controlling the objective at the end of the game, even if they don't take it off of the table, so not too bad. Uh, the stern guard have got out there trying to whittle down my warriors. The ironclad dread is eyeing up those warriors. And over this side of the table, these guys have got out eyeing up these warriors. So it's going to be interesting to see how they do um, as we move into the next phase. Okay, so end of turn five for the Space Marines. Um, it's worth noting that the Terminators there moved and ran trying to get off the table edge to deny some uh, victory points. They only moved uh, two inches though. Uh, however, the single biker that's uh, just now over there, he did come off the table edge, so he denied some points for me. In the shooting phase, um, the uh, stern guard shot in at my warriors on the uh, terrain there. They used their poison weapons, I only lost one warrior. In actual fact, the scouts fared better because they shot at my warriors there and I lost two of them. Over this side of the table, these guys here shot this warrior squad. I lost three um, of the warriors. And then we went into the assault over here. So, well, first of all, actually, the dread shot me. Um, I lost, I think, one warrior uh, from the shooting. Uh, I did inflict one hole point in Overwatch, so that ironclad dread is just on one hole point, but he got into assault. And of course, I'm a 13, I can't hurt him. Um, I did lose uh, a couple of warriors in the assault, so we're just locked in combat there. Um, over the here, the other assault went better for me. Um, I managed to kill a couple of the marines that were left, just the power fist left. He failed to wound me, rolled a one to wound. Uh, then he failed leadership and he ran, and just running there. Now if he'd gone off the board edge, that would have been total denial of victory points. As it is, I've got to try and kill this guy to get some victory points. As we move in, to turn five for the Necrons. Okay, so Necron turn five. So I moved uh, everything around, just uh, getting into the best position as possible. Um, I started off opening up the heavy destroyers onto the two Terminators that were just over there. Uh, managed to kill one, one Terminator left, um, and that uh, unit would go off of the board if I didn't leave it alone, so I decided to try and target that. So I shot uh, the Immortals into there, they did nothing. I shot those guys into there, they did nothing. So I shot those guys into there, and I managed to kill the last Terminator. So that went down, but it did take a lot of my firepower. Um, these guys here shot into the scouts, killed a couple. And as you can see here, the Praetorians have finally made it into range. Um, I attempted to assault, but I was out in the assault range. Um, and that was pretty much it. Oh yeah, these guys here, they also shot the scouts, killed a few more of the scouts as well. So there's five scouts remaining. Over here, we went into the assault phase. Um, I took the wraiths into a multi-assault into the rhino and also the marines. I managed to wreck the rhino. I lost a wound off of the uh, wraith that only had one wound, so one of those dropped and I killed a couple of the marines in that uh, tactical unit. And that was it, my turn five. So we're gonna move in now to turn six and potentially the last turn. Okay, so turn six for the space marines. Uh, they continued shooting my warriors that are just up on the hill, shot me with uh, the stern guard and the scouts who just moved up over there. Uh, they managed to kill, I think it was two or three in total. Um, but I did fail my leadership and I ran, so I'm running there towards the edge of the table. Uh, continued the assault there, just lost a couple more warriors. I think I've got about three warriors left. Over this side of the table here, um, the single jump pack guy went off the table edge to deny some points. We went into the assault. Um, I killed a couple of the marines. They failed leadership. I didn't chase them down and they ran off the board. And there was five of them left out of the ten. Uh, so no victory points at all for me there, but I did consolidate my wraith, so free to roam. As we move in now to turn six for the Necrons. Okay, so turn six for the Necrons. And uh, this tomb was not liking the invasion. Um, we advanced as much as we could on the stern guard. And basically we shot all of our guns at the stern guard there. Uh, we managed to take five of them out, five left. 
they didn't fail no morale checks or anything so they're just standing there um, over here the wraiths advanced up managed to get into assault and take out the dread um, so we just consolidated just behind the uh, building there um, and then it was time for the Praetorians first time I managed to actually do something with them I managed to get them just about into the assault um, after taking an assault range I only got uh, double one but luckily there was no terrain to go through so got into the assault and uh, yeah um, I killed 13 marines well I would have done if they were there as it was we just uh, consolidated a few inches so as it stands on the table the uh, space marines only have the stern guard unit left uh, we haven't added the victory points up so we'll have to do that if the game doesn't go on let's have a look so we're going to roll the dice and uh, it's on a four plus um, in fourth edition rule so we're going to do that see if the game goes on a two no the game ends so we're going to add up the points and we'll be back okay so we just added the points up um, and to be fair there wasn't much to add up on the Necron side just two new units of warriors under 50% uh, so it was 130 points to the Space Marines uh, we added up my little pile of dead that I've uh, managed to kill and I got 1153 points which according to the margin of victory table in the 4th edition uh, rulebook is a crushing victory I was 47 points off a, a victorious slaughter so not too bad for the Necrons I would say uh, but more importantly it was a really really fun game um, and I hope you enjoyed the battle report as I said this is my 15th 100 video um, on the channel which is just absolutely just amazing really um, but um, I'm still enjoying every single one of them so um, the content is definitely not going to stop so uh, as always uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.